because that's about being whole. That's about being masculine and feminine energy. That's about being divine. That's about being your whole, complete, and divine self. And Marsha was that. Marsha walked between the worlds. She walked between the worlds. She was here and she wasn't. She was everything and she was nothing. She was he, she, up, down, left, right, gay, straight, here, there, everywhere. She was all of those things. And you have to be in tune with who you are in order to realize that, in order to see that, in order to be that, in order to feel that, in order to connect with that. So I come from New Orleans and I come here today while we're gathered together in this circle and I feel Marsha's energy and her love and her spirit here. And though a lot of, a lot of, I expected to see a lot more faces that looked like mine. And the reason why is because it's a lot of pain. And, and we don't, we don't want to be the person that gives when you have nothing. We're tired of giving and having nothing. But we can't lose that spirit because it's about to be a shift. It's about to be a shift. The bill is coming due. The bill is coming due. So know what side you're on. Know what side you're on this day. Choose a side and choose it wisely. So I, when I pray, I was brought up Christian, but I've also adopted a little bit of my ancestors. So when I pray, I like to also acknowledge mother. So everything that I pray, I say, amen, a woman. You know, my name that I've chose for myself outside of, you know, my legal name is Kaneen Mafa. And Kaneen means king, queen, mother, father. So every time I say that, I invoke masculine and feminine energy into me. I remind myself that I am not a half looking for something. I'm already whole. And when I merge with someone else, we make a greater union. And we're even more complete. So I want to leave you with a prayer. Could you close the circle, please? Just grab our shoulder and our elbow. Just connect with us. Mother, Father, God, Master, Creator, Friend, Deliverer, Healer, the one who guides our every footsteps, the one who sends ancestors to lovingly watch over us and keep us, the one who helps us to realize that all of those things that we've experienced throughout the centuries, all of that pain and all of that struggle and all of that turmoil that lies embedded in our DNA that people have told us is craziness is really just ancient memories peeking out from time to time. Today I ask that when you leave this space, you don't be afraid to acknowledge them. Acknowledge the pain. Acknowledge the happiness. Acknowledge the joy. Acknowledge the sorrow. Acknowledge the brokenness. Be comfortable with it when you're alone and it's silent. And if you need to, name it. Call it something. So that when you're out of balance, you can name that and you can tell it to go away. But if you don't give it a name, you can't speak to it. So when something is troubling you, when something is weighing you down, when something is, is attacking you, and, and you're under a psychic attack and you feel that in you. You name it. You speak to it. And you talk to it. Don't be afraid. And you can either ask it what it wants or you can send it away. But don't be afraid to communicate with that storm inside of you. Because when we look at the water, we see the waves and we see them calm and relaxed, but we never realize everything that's going on beneath the surface. Sometimes it's, it's all types of things brewing beneath the surface. And that's how we all are as human beings. There's something brewing beneath the surface. It's something going on in the water. Don't be afraid of it. Embrace it. Embrace all of you 
and love yourself. All these blessings I ask in the name of all those you sent to make this world a better place, namely Jesus, I say amen, a woman, you say what you will.